Hello and welcome to my channel and today I'm talking about Q&K puzzle um, that was gifted to me from a non-puzzling friend. She visited a charity shop and she saw it there on the shelf and she thought I know Shaw's Puzzles likes that kind of thing and it's a map and it's colourful and it's wooden. Um, she didn't realise it's actually a China knockoff puzzle. Um, which very often come with these letters on the back and they're kind of it's a guide which is very helpful if you're quite new to puzzling because it can be quite helpful to differentiate different areas so here I'm sorting out all the A's and the B's and the C's and put them in different little piles to come back to at a later date um, there are a thousand pieces here as I said so there's a process of that sorting out um, the box here doesn't have a lot of information really, apart from the picture. Um, we've got a logo there. Um, there's not actually a lot to write about. Um, there's no artwork as such, so we don't know who actually come up with the design. Um, as I say, it's just a logo and not a lot else. The, the actual box is plain white. There's no other information about anything really. Um, so here I've got all the pieces out on my puzzle board and there's some of the selection I've done so far and some sorting and I've sorted out some of the edge pieces and these pieces were already put together so I kind of had a head start really but as you can see they're all the pieces and all the numbers and all the letters the funny thing is it very much reminds me of a scrabble board with the letters, you know, with the A's and the B's. Um, the actual wood itself is fairly standard, quite a thick cut. Um, and there we have the organza bag which comes from, which is a quite a nice touch, um, better than plastic. But the only thing I find is when the pieces are in that bag, they tend to stick to the material. So you've got to really make sure that you shake all the pieces out and there's the box again. Um, nothing special, Q&K puzzles, don't really know much anything about them, I've never heard of them. Um, there's a ni it's a nice picture, um, it's the world and it looks like it's been painted, painted um, spray paint. Um, quite a lot of emblems, um, piece count, but as I say, there's no kind of indication of where the art came from. And again, standard box, nothing to look at, fairly sturdy, um, there's not a lot else I can really say about that to be fair. As I say, there's all the pieces out on the board and um, what I'm going to do next is sort more pieces out and <laughs> so these puzzles, are they a fad or are they just bad? <laughs> Bit of fun there making words up as I go along. Um, so there we are. All the shapes are kind of more standard shapes and there's a few um, other kinds of shapes in there but they're more regular cuts rather than a random cut. So and now I've got all the shapes out you can actually see um, usually there's like a bit of puzzle dust but here we have actual sawdust and there's quite a lot of it. Um, yeah so try not to get splinters in my fingers really with that one. Um, so here we are. I'm halfway through at this point. Um, yeah, it's coming together really nicely and actually it's more enjoyable than I thought it would be. So I've just done a bit of a time lapse here of me putting pieces in. Um, as I say, when I put all the piece, pieces together, so all the A's together, all the B's together, I can work out where on the board they go. So it makes the whole process a lot easier. So if you've got a newbie puzzler, then really it's actually ideal to do. So yeah, really, really good. And here I am really going for it now. I'm not far to go. Um, as I say, I think I did this puzzle in a couple of days and I've just got a little bit of the ocean left there now. So um, yeah, it looks really, really nice. And I think it would have been a really nice touch if they actually put like the country names on there as well. So it could have a bit of a hit, like a, a geography lesson as well. But um, there we go. So as I said, the pieces are quite 
different shapes. You can actually work out where they go. There's quite a little bit of variety. So there wasn't a lot of pieces that could have been misplaced or put in the wrong place. So we had no kind of um, similar cuts. So that was quite a nice touch. And for a cheap puzzle, I think, yeah, that was all right. So I had that going for it. Um, so moving along now, we're doing really, really well with this. Would I buy a puzzle like this? Not really. Um, as I say, it was gifted to me and it was enjoyable enough, but I quite like brands really, you know, like Eboo, Ravensburger, Pomegranate. Um, and I like artwork to be named on it. I think that's quite a really important touch for a puzzle. That way you can kind of really relate to it and feel fully invested in it. And you can find out a bit more about the artwork or the artist. And I just think it's a shame that they don't do that. And I think people would probably buy more puzzles from the company if they had a little bit more information about it. Um, but there we go. Cheap and cheerful, I suppose. So there we go. A little bit more going on there. Brilliant. Yeah, there's probably about 30 pieces left there now to do. Last few pieces. As I said, that even like the C is like white and like variations of pink, so and like paint splodges on them, so you could really kind of tell where they went. It wasn't just all like plain white or just one colour, which made the whole process easier again. Yeah, so there we go. One more piece. Ta-da! <laughs> lovely and there we are there's the final product um, lots of colors and like it's been like spray painted in the paint runs it's kind of a nice kind of uh, abstract I suppose almost yeah really really nice yeah and it's quite a sturdy puzzle as well which I will show you in a little bit there we go doing the pickup challenge which is quite easy on a puzzle like this I've turned it over there so you can actually see or can make out the letters on the back where they all go. Yeah, I'm trying to wrap it around myself there, I think. <laughs> yeah, nice, like four size thousand piece puzzle, um, standard size. I lift it up, very impossible to break, really. There we go. And to show how sturdy it is, there's the box on there. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and like. Thank you.